If you want a relaxing holiday, sure, go to the beach. But if you want a real adventure, you need to go to the outback. And the good news is, you don't have to trek to the territory. You can do it all here in New South Wales. Today, my adventuring is taking me to the Gundabooka National Park, a 65,000 hectare expanse just south of Burke. I'm exploring its amazing Aboriginal history with a fair dinkum local, Melissa Prince. Hey, Melissa. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So this is where the walk starts? This is where the walk starts. Perfect. So we go? Yeah. Lots to see, hey? Yeah, lots to see. It's a pretty easy walk from the car park to our first site of significance. But watch out for Missy's jokes along the way. That's an old art site, that is, old campsite. Really? I like to tell people that if you tread on them, you burn your feet. <laughs> <laughs> We're hot-footing it to the Malgowan art site, formerly part of the Malgowan station property and now part of the park. So Mel, this is the art site and you can see all painters. How old would this be? They're estimated about 22,000 years old. And this was done by your people? This was done by the Namba and the Barganji people. The paintings show figures, animals, hand stencils and ceremonies and they absolutely blow me away. All of the paintings are important but one is especially so. There's one painting in particular, um, a group of men with one woman standing right in the middle and um, because of that one woman on the rock art out here that we consider this a shared place. Who is that woman? She could have been me in another she life. She's very been. special, very <laughs> solid little piece of woman she is. Yeah. Not too far away is our next significant spot, the stunning Mount Gundabooka and Bennett's Gorge. This is a spectacular sight, the landscape. This is a large stone quarry, and within stone quarries, that's where we make our artefacts, like um, stone axe heads, hammer heads, spears, cutters. This mountain is breathtaking from a distance. I'm keen to see, though, if it's just as striking up close. Missy, I love your yarns, and thank you for showing me this beautiful mountain. I'm going to go and explore it. You have a good one. See ya. You see ya. You can walk to the base of Mount Gundabooka or to the very top. And when you're done, rest your weary feet at the Bennett's Gorge picnic area, where I've got a question for Ranger Shane O'Sullivan. Can you camp here? Because it's a top spot, you'd want to yeah. be able to. Yeah, actually we can. There's yeah. a couple of options for camping. You've got Rye Tank uh, Camping Ground. So that's great if you want to go to Mulgowan Heritage Site or if you want to come out to Bennett's Gorge. Yeah. Uh, but also we've got Yanda, which is if you're into fishing, is great for fishing. So. And then there's yeah. the homestead at Red Bank, where I'm staying. Where you're staying tonight. <laughs> No camping for me tonight. Red Bank is the real deal. A true blue Aussie homestead. Inside, there's a heap of old fashioned comfort and plenty of room. And if you're one of those fishing fans, there's plenty of that too, right on the river. What an authentic outback experience from the art site and those amazing paintings to the Red Bank homestead. I mean, have a look at it. Uh, with a couple of walks in the Gundabooka National Park already under my belt. All that's left to do is to come up with tomorrow's adventure. <laughs> that won't be a problem. Gundabooka National Park is out near Burke. Stay at Red Bank Homestead from just $40 per person per night. And book your spot for the Creek Walk and visit the Aboriginal art site for July. For all the info on Gundabooka, jump onto nationalparks.nsw.gov.au forward slash Sydney Weekender.